My guess mm -hmm. is that the direction that we break out will be to the upside, but it won't be until after the election. And we're not sure when it, after the election is, right? We, we mm, need to have a clear, a decisive point. winner. We don't have that stretched out. We, we saw that happen back in 2000, and, and the market rolled over with that uncertainty. But I think the direction mm -hmm. is higher. And I think that's regardless of who wins. I think that uh, 21 is going to be a better year than 20. I certainly think there's a lot of economic energy that's pent up. And when we start to get things like vaccines and start mm -hmm. to do things that are more normalized, we're, we're going to have a market and an economy that does better. So my guess is the next direction on a breakout of the range we've been in for, for a long time is to the upside. Mm -hmm. How much to the upside, if you're saying that this is perhaps going to be uh, the breakout market that we see, relief rally post the elections, then where do we go from here, from 3,400 on the index, on the uh, S&P 500? I think we're 3,600 by year end or, you know, into the first quarter, you know, depending on when we get some good news on vaccines. We should have some readouts on at least two of the, of the four major candidates for vaccines in November. I think that starts to permeate into the markets. Our therapeutic news has been consistently better. Economic data has held in pretty nicely, even in the absence of fiscal stimulus. So I think a combination of those three things and then the uncertainty about the election behind us, I think the realization that we're not getting stimulus now and we don't get it till next year is baked into the cake now. So I think there's a lot of good news that can propel us higher, 3,600 by the end of the year, and certainly a mm -hmm. better year next year than we had this year.